So there's a lot of union activity going on right now. You want to know why? Because the economy is a giant scam. Workers are getting hosed. We just had a pandemic. We're still in a pandemic. And uh, this was used as a Trojan horse to cut benefits for people and cut back on hours, cut back on pay. There's issues with the supply chain. There's all sorts of problems. Um, but workers are fighting back because they are getting screwed. So take a look at this. This is from um, Jonah Furman, who's actually a labor reporter, one of the few in the country, so credit to him for tracking this here. This week's union roundup is a big one. Lots of strike activity all over the country. On strike, 2,000 Buffalo hospital workers, 2,000 Washington carpenters, 1,000 Alabama miners, 700 Massachusetts nurses, 450 West Virginia steel workers, 420 Kentucky whiskey workers, 350 Denver janitors, 300 Los Angeles airspace manufacturers, 200 Reno bus drivers, 100 Pennsylvania teachers, 75 San Antonio sympathy, uh, sympathy, symphony, I'm an idiot, musicians, 50 West Virginia machinists, um, and then we have potential strikes, 65,000 film and TV workers, that's wild, 37,000 Kaiser healthcare workers, 10,000 John Deere manufacturing workers, thousands of grad students at Harvard, Columbia, and Illinois State University, and 20,000 California State University faculty members, 2,000 telecom workers in California, 400 hospital workers in Oregon, 350 hospital workers in California, school bus drivers in Warwick, Rhode Island, uh, Las Cruces, New Mexico, and Elk Grove, California. God diggity damn, son. God damn. Um, here's why we're talking about this. Because... Nobody else is gonna. So credit to this labor reporter. There are very few outlets in the country doing a real good job reporting on serious issues. So you got to give a shout out to the Daily Poster. You got to give a shout out to uh, Jordan Chariton and uh, Status Coup, um, Sludge. There's a number that are doing a, a great job, but it's few and far between and they don't get the accolades that they deserve. So credit to this labor reporter for doing it. Let me show you these charts because this says everything right here. Share of union income going to the top, excuse me, share of income, not union income, share of income going to the top 10%. And then the red line is union membership. So blue line is income to the top 10%, red line is union membership. Look at that. So in other words, the more unionization there is, the less money the top 10% have, which means the more money the working class has. And then of course, there's that giant break apart. Uh, now look at this chart. Worker productivity compensation, and union membership. So you have productivity goes up. Union membership is relatively high early on, around, the around 1960. Um, as soon as union membership plummets, hourly compensation decouples from the productivity line, and people get start getting paid way less. So they're super productive, but they don't get paid in alignment with their productivity. Now, some of that has to do with, um, you know, technology. That's a part of it. But a lot of it has to do directly with union membership. When union rates decline, the working class doesn't do as well. I mean, it's, it's very straightforward. All the data shows this. In the right-to-work states, workers make less and they have worse benefits. Um, when you're in a union, you get paid more, you have better benefits, and you're treated better. I mean, these are just facts. So... If you want to have a healthy working class, you need unions, and you need unions who are going to fight for workers. And so that brings me to corporate media. They're not going to cover what's going on with these unions because corporate media, I mean, they are corporations. They care about the bottom line. They hire people who do not rock the boat too much. So they're just not interested and don't care about labor struggles around the country. How many of the big outlets have straight up labor reporters? How many? I don't know. I'm seriously asking the question. I don't know of any. I mean, Jeff Stein at the Washington Post is a great economics reporter, but it's more, he covers like White House stuff. It's not purely labor. How many labor reporters are there out there at big publications? I don't know of any. That's on purpose. That's by design. They don't want you to know that you have power if you're in a union. They don't want you to know that your wages can go up. They don't want you to know that your benefits can be better. They don't want you to know you can get paid time off, paid maternity leave, paid paternity leave. They don't want you to know that. And so you're left to go to YouTube shows like mine to tell you about a dozen strikes going on around the country that are, the media is quiet on. It's really pathetic. Solidarity to all those workers. And um, we need to greatly increase union membership in this country. That is one of the most important solutions. 
Ever since Adpocalypse, when YouTube defunded all independent news and politics overnight, we haven't trusted them. We know they can pull the rug out from underneath us at any time. If you enjoy this content, please consider tipping a dollar or two per month on the Secular Talk Patreon. Link in the video description box below. Thanks for your support.